All right, folks, so I wanted to go ahead and get this one up because I'm actually a little behind or way behind where I should be on these videos. I've been picking up some stuff as of late, but as promised, this is number two on my spawn detox. We have Sam and Twitch here, along with uh, John Constantine uh, from the Page Punchers here. This little hand-rolled cigarette. This was the second or third diorama I did. I went a little more stylish with it. As you can see, the, the bricks aren't quite blocked off perfectly on purpose. Down here, we've got an unfortunate, I think that's a, a Kevin Owens basic under that uh, sheet there with the Citadel blood paint. And just some cool touches here. I think this clipboard I got off uh, Stacy Keebler, WWE Elite. And it's tough to see, but uh, Sam's actually got a, a flashlight that came off a of NECA. Alien vs. Predator um, accessory pack. It's got a cool roll up door in the back. That's just corrugated cardboard. Again, it's been a while since I made this thing. Got a cool little police barricade that also came off of some type of old uh, WWE series accessory. I've got like um, a box of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm not gonna take this out. Just go ahead and get it underway because like I said, I'm falling behind. Just for some cool lighting. Really just going for a crime scene here. And everything worked out pretty well. I'm not, I'm not mad about it. And yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm way behind. Um, hopefully I'll catch up. I'm currently working on some G.I. Joe classified stuff. I've got a diorama in the making there. And then we've also got the third spawn shelf I haven't even gotten to yet. So yeah, just an update. And I'll post a couple pictures. Just wanted to get this out of the way. To give you just some insight into the detail here. Pull John out of the way. Some cool resin effects there. I'll take a couple pictures, but yeah. And then lights on. Kind of get a better picture. We're going to be going to the next one, folks. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe. Thanks. And while I've got this going, um, if you guys are interested in me showing some of the techniques I actually use to make some of this stuff, this is not my best. Like I said, I'm kind of working through them. But yeah, maybe I'll put together a video of me actually working on some diorama stuff. It's a little tedious. I'm not really set up to film that. Not sure what else I'll, I'll throw in here. I might be able to fit one more figure, but overall, happy with how this turned out. It's not perfect, but hey, it's cool.